What's up, what's going on guys, Geek Sand of here, and we're going to be doing another podcast episode, this is episode 6, with my sweet hums, Kyle, and we're going to be having someone joining us, as you can see, their camera is off, so turn your motherfucking camera on, Josh. Oh, that's good timing, actually. Hey, so. Yo. And so, yeah, I'm just going to flex this, because it's funny, I don't care, I'm very gassed about it, but yeah. So the topics we're going to be talking about today is the first one will be the Justice League reca- recast. The reason why I say the Justice League recast is because Kyle kind of uh, brought it up last time. Um, well, yeah, he he gave the idea in. Um, uh, we have um, then going to be talking about Stranger Things season four and the shit to do with that, and then we'll be talking about the Gotham Knights game. So, because I don't, I have hardly, I literally only fought two people, I'm going to start with the guest. So, it's me then. Okay. So, um, Superman, no idea. I'm Superman. But Batman, I would like Christian Bale back. Yeah, Christian Bale. Okay, okay. I don't know. Like, I would, I would love Christian Bale back as Batman. Mm. And or Matt Damon. Ooh. Matt Damon is back. <laughs> All right. Is that? No, it's it? like a weird. I don't, I don't, Ray, I won't I mind it. I can't. Right, I, I know who Matt Damon. What is. I've seen of him in the. Jo- Carry on. Carry on, Josh. Okay. Of what I've seen of him in a Jason Bourne films, I think he'll suit Batman. I think he will suit him very well. Uh, With what what Christian Bale's done, and he's done a great job. But, you know, Matt Damon, you know, someone different. You know, I... I think he can handle Batman. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I rate that. I, I actually rate that. I haven't. I haven't really watched much of um, Matt Damon. I'm gonna be honest. I don't mind it. Right. Let me let me just stop the recording so I can check it. So sorry. One minute. Go on. Carry on, Josh. I, I forgot where I was actually. <laughs> you was on about um, Matt Damon. Yeah. Well, where was I? Crap. Yeah, but I forgot what part I was on. You're saying about how he was in jail. Where? At Edmonton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I reckon he will suit Batman really fine. Uh, like, um, I don't, I'm not going to spoil the Jason Bourne films because I don't really want it. It's not really, I don't really, but, um, I, I don't know. I I think he will. I think he will do a solid job. It's just something about him that I think he will suit Batman really well. To be honest, I saw I saw Matt Damon when I was looking up actors and shit. I I, I kind of rate that. I kind of rate that. But honestly, from what I've seen of the Batman movie, I'd st- I'm um I'm, I'm kind of honestly leaning towards Robert being ish him. I know he would be. I know I, in my opinion he'd suit Nightwing a lot more. Or Red Hood a lot more, but I'd still, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with him being Batman. That's all I'm saying. Fair enough. Fair enough. What about you then, Kyle? Okay, so and I'm gonna and I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a bit of a twist. I've got someone for Green Lantern. I do as well, actually. <laughs> yeah. Bill Skarsgård. Bill. Okay, you're going for the Hal Jordan. But okay, okay, I'll rate that. I'll rate that. You're going for Hal Jordan. Okay, I'll rate you that. Know, you know what? Bill Scaff, I think... I, I just think he has to look for him, you know? I just think he looks real good for like, a, a green you know, type person. Do he's in like his mid-30s, early 40s, I think. So, I think he'll suit it quite well. Like, the brown hair. Right. So, yeah, I think I think you could rock it. Also, Superman. Okay. Right, I've been thinking about Superman as well. 
and this may seem a little bit weird do when you first hear it well mm. i think he could i think this guy could see it as well because he's not in a lot but he's quite a decent actor I'm, I'm John Cena. Who? Mm. Who? I don't know. John Cena. John. John Cena. Oh, we have to stop. Right, look him up. Stop the call. Recording for a sec. Why? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah, just nah. He's got the body just for nah. it, man. He's no. But, okay, right. Let me. Let me hold up. 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 We're gonna have our first argument here. <laughs> I love this. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Hold yeah. on, we're gonna have our first argument here. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna do let's, is let's not let's not get nothing wrong. You know you know what right. I'm gonna start doing in these podcasts here? Yeah? In the editing, I'm gonna put an argument counter at the top. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be so funny. <laughs> so argument counter number one. Go right. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Right, so, you may think this is, like, oh, Carl, you, you, you're you going crazy. I'm not a John Cena fan, right? Let's get it out there. I'm not, I, I don't like him. I like him as a person, but I've, I've seen him, he annoys me sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you. However, look for it. Like, the, the ripped up body, the, you know, just like, the, you, know, you look at, and when you go, he's a guy that you, you could see as Superman. Like his nickname even is Super Cena. Everybody talks about him being the next Superman, and I thought, fuck it, why not? Why not have him as Superman? I, I, I just don't think he'll sue it. I don't. He's too old for one. Uh, uh, Nicholas Cage was going to be Superman, and he's like in his 40s. <laughs> well, I say Nicholas yeah, Cage. Yeah, but then. John Cena's older than Nicholas Cage. No, he's not. He's not. Oh, wait, he's how old is John Cena? 40, I think he's like 45, 44, 46, something like that. Of course, he's in his like, 50s. Oh, jeez. Um, Let me. What, was Nicholas Cage actually going to be Superman? Yeah. See you on everything. Get it ready. Jeez. Jeez. I remember when Chris okay, Evans wasn't going to come. Ronnie's going, like... I remember when Chris Evans wasn't going to You know, this is... Captain America. Mm. Actually, I've seen her will be more suited as Captain America. What? Yeah, right, okay. But this is... This isn't, like, Fantasy Marvel. This is Fantasy Justice League. Yeah. And uh, yeah, John Cena, Superman. I don't know how I feel about that. I pitched no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? It, you know why I'm getting a bad vibe off. Got a of thing it. as well. As... No, let me say something. You know why I'm getting why? a bad vibe off it. <laughs> Because we've fucking seen it. It seems in Daddy's home. I'm, I'm getting a, a bad vibe off of it. Right, oh, okay. No. But he's been in some. That's what I'm saying. He's been in some shit. He's never been like a lead in something. He's always been like a side character. In my Superman, I reckon it could mind blowing everyone. It will get box office views for the kids. It will. Like, there's nothing wrong with being. for him being Superman. I don't mind him as. Right. But I never will said he I, suit I'm, Clark, Clark Kent? I no. I never said. I never said he won't. He won't fit right. him. I just said. I just said. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. He's got the bill for it. That's for fucking sure. He has the bill for it. But does he? He kind of does, and he kind of doesn't. Uh, he kind of does look like him in a way. Nicholas Cage is fifty six. John Cena is forty three. And you're telling me, and you're telling me that Nicolas Cage was going to be play uh, Superman. You have no laugh, mate. You have no laugh. I don't know, honestly. I have no fucking idea. No, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I can see it. I can see a Superman being like them announcing the next Superman, John Cena. I'm, well, I know. I know that. If, I know. If Superman he gets the part, not so. 
oh yeah, there's gonna be some haters and there's gonna be some. And I'm saying I wouldn't hate it if that's the case. I mean, I'll rate it. Mm, it's... We'll just have to see, like, yeah. if he does well, because. Everyone was like, oh, Robert Patterson, everyone was unsure about that. But looking at the trailer, I think he'll do a good job as Batman. I, I'm, I'm not as in train, and I feel like John Cena as Superman, I would be on that train as well. Like, it's, mm. a, it's one of those it's one, thing, of it's one of those things you either love or hate it, and... I'm gonna see where if he if he was to be Superman, I'll see where it goes. I'll see where it goes. I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from now. Yeah, and that you see, and I I I think, and also Commissioner Gordon, part of him as well. No, but if I have a little look at him, right? Let me. I'm gonna go on a little rant quickly. I'm gonna go on a little rant uh, quickly about Commissioner Gordon. Right, so people. This is actually pissing me off, right? You know, you know, in the Batman movie, Commissioner Gordon's black, yeah? And people and people are fucking ranting about, oh, Commissioner Gordon is not black, he's fucking white. Fucking change the bastard to white, yeah. not black. That's kind of, that's kind of stupid, really. Fucking Robert, Robert fucking Downey Jr., who, who was white, he played a fucking black character. And they're saying the cat, you can't have a black character oh, be a white character. I hated that film. I hated it, but I, I, didn't, I, did, I didn't watch it, though. I didn't watch it, though. I've seen it. I ain't seen it, either. I've, to, I've heard, I heard about it, saying, like, oh, Robert Downey Jr. plays, like, a black character, and I'm like, surely not. Like, this is... This, this is some sort of joke, and I watched it, and I was like, fucking hell. Like, and this you know something? even an um, old movie. It's, like, made in, like, 2010 or something. It's, like... It's ridiculous. You know something? I th I just thought of this. Robert Downey Jr. as Commissioner. I wouldn't hate it. Oh, I, would, I, 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 wouldn't, I, I would not I like really it. I really rate that. I really, I fucking rate that. Actually. I really rate that, actually. I, I rate it. I don't, I don't. I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I was thinking more, um, who's that guy that plays Magneto in? Ian, M Ian McCallum. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Commissioner Gordon. You gotta think though. You gotta think. Well, though, I don't mind. Um, I don't mind. You gotta think though. You kind of have to tie in with um, if they play cops, if the if the suit for the role. You kind of have to tie it back into other movies of being in as well. This is fantasy. It has to be fantasy, but fantasy, it has, it's fantasy, but it, ha it has to make sense. In my opinion, it has to make sense. Yeah. I Old commissioner, right? Joe, who doesn't really work anymore. He's kind of behind a desk. You know, mm. perfect, Ian, for for our Ian. Yeah, I, I can see it working. I can see it working. Right. Amazing. Right. I'm guessing you'd want me to. Also, you... I. Okay, carry on, Josh. No, go on. Also, I thought of this, right? Again, it's very controversial, but Tom Holland as Robin. No. Too young, too old. No. Nightwing, maybe. Not not Robin. Hmm. But maybe, what if he was... Mm -hmm. What if he was, like, Dick Grayson or Jason Todd? No, but again, too... Redwood, like, definitely Red Hood. Was young. Definitely, definitely fucking Red Hood. Definitely Red Hood. I rate it as Red Hood. Definitely Red Hood. Definitely Red Hood. Red, yeah, exactly. Red, Robin, no. You want, like, a kid, like, early teen. Like, um... What's his face? Will from Stranger... Yeah, but then again... Things. Then again, if we're talking... Babe, kind of... Okay, right, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. No, man, carry on. Yeah. No, no, a schnapp is Robin, don't mind, but not, not, not Robin, not, um, Tom. Well, what about, um, f oh, right, so I'm guessing you'd want to hear mine. 
Yeah. So, I have Jon Stewart's Green Lantern and Aquaman. The Aquaman, I don't think you will agree with, but because of his accent, but I think he'd pull off. I, I think he would be he would pull off a good American accent because I think he has before. So I'm gonna start with Green Lantern first. The John Stewart Green Lantern. He's been in a movie. We've both seen it. We've kind of reviewed it on this podcast. That makes it. That brings it out. And I'm gonna say it. Jamie Fox is John Stewart Green Lantern. Mm, I know who you're going for. No. Oh. <laughs> I re- no, 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 I see it. I see it a hundred percent. Wait, wait, wait. Counter two. <laughs> I, I don't see it. No, I do. I no, do. no, not eight people. Two, two. No, 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 no. Have you seen? He's too old. Yeah, too oh. old. Too what buff? He's not too buff at too all. Buff, yeah. He's not too buff at all. Let me show you a picture of Jon no, Stewart. Not. He's not too buff. He's perfect. He's perfect, in my opinion. One minute. John. I'm going to show it with my phone because the fucking recording will stop if I sh- change it. Uh, John Stewart images, and it fucking came up with an old guy. DC. <laughs> uh, shut up, cat. Oh, Dad's going to bring it in. He's perfect. He's legit perfect. One minute. I don't know if you can see it. Wait, that picture. Wait. Yeah, this picture. Oh, I can't see it. Wait, one minute. Fucking phone's terrible. Well, not terrible, but yeah. That picture there. Can't see it. Wait. Can't see it. Here you come. You know what? You know. Keep moving. No, that's not terrible. You see what you I know mean? What I'm about Ooh, Jamie Foxx is John man. Stewart. I, I, I agree as well. I agree. Yeah. Slightly. You know, no. Michael B. Jordan. John Stewart, Michael B. Jordan. If he worked out a lot, then yeah. A little younger. Still- but the yeah. thing is, but the thing Michael is, with that with that version of the Justice League that fucking John Stewart was in, there's a girl a Green Lantern as well, but I've forgotten her name. Within the Justice League, I've forgotten her name though. Do you know who I wouldn't mind playing a Supergirl, like a super? If they ever like dye hair blonde, Alexandria Daddario. Nah. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. 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 I don't even know who she is. What? What's that? Have you ever watched the film Baywatch? No, I haven't. No. I don't know how to explain her then. Adam's gone. He just (laughs) fucked off. (laughs) He's left the building. Born like baby blue eyes, Alexander Dario. Right. Let me think. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. I don't know. You won't mind it. I would. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, her flying around, you know, with the fucking cleavage. I won't mind it. You, her in Baywatch. No. Like, I, I, here's the thing, right? Wait, I'm a show. I'm a show. Right, Josh. it's not I'm the a... fact that she's that very attractive. Show me, show Josh a picture of Alexander. Keep Dittari. talking, though. By the way, because we we we, we stand. Keep talking. But yeah, right. But make a blonde, right? Great Supergirl. I rate it. This picture I saw, I rate it. Made me nothing rate wrong it. with that. Wait. Her. That picture makes See, me rate it. I actually I'm agree great. with Kyle. The picture makes I me agree rate with it. Kyle. Exactly. The picture makes me see it. Yeah. The picture makes me see it, actually, to be honest. Either that, but I think... I was thinking of um, Kaylee Kawako as well, but I think she's a little too old. Who's that? <laughs> Have you ever seen The Big Bang Theory? No, I don't really like it. What, the person who plays yeah. Penny? 
That's what nah, I said. That's what I thought. Old. I said she's too old. She she could be slightly too old. I said she. Okay. I said she was too tall. Don't hide, don't matter. Do you want me to say my own command one? And I don't know how you feel about this one at all. I don't know how you feel about this one at all. If he shaves his beard and maybe does an American accent, yeah. maybe. But I don't know how you feel about this, because in the comics, our command's a bit buff. So that's why I'm saying this. You ready? Yeah. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> I can see it. Oh, okay. I can see it. I can see it. I, I actually agree. I agree. I agree. Chris Hemsworth. Yes. And I'll tell you for why. And, and, I'll tell you. And I'll tell. I'll tell you. Oh my god. Argument three. <laughs> Change that to three. No. I'll tell three. you. I'll tell you for why I don't agree with this. Agree with any of this. Right. It's because Chris Hemsworth is a fucking star. Right. Him being that come on. It, it's what Aquaman to say no less. No, 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 no. You're gonna ruin don't, the poor man. Don't you diss poor Aquaman. Aquaman, when he is very yes. fucking, no, I hate it. Aquaman, when he is very sick, yeah. he can fuck up Superman without Kryptonite, and that's legit true. He can fuck Superman up without Kryptonite. No, what's he gonna that's do? True. Splash him to death? No, that is true. Trust me, Aquaman's beat Superman without Kryptonite in the comics, and I can tell you that now. No, 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 not Chris Hemsworth, not Chris, Chris Hemsworth is too good looking, you want a nerd to play him. No, you don't. You want a so nerd. So Jason Momoa is no, a nerd. No, 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 <laughs> you're twisting my word. No, no, I no, no, you said you want a nerd to play him. <laughs> you said you want a nerd to be Aquaman. Right, and you're, twist, so you're, you're twisting my You word. want a nerd to be Barry Allen, the Flash, not to be fucking Aquaman. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, who would you get as the Flash then? I'd stay Ezra Miller, to be honest. Does if not, if yeah, if yeah, but we, we, let's change it up a bit. Let's change it up. I've forgotten. I've completely forgotten his name, and I can't remember what he's in. But I've, I can vividly picture him in, in my mind. I can, I, I can, I know, I kind of know what he looks like, but I don't know. Charlie Heaton. Charlie. He no. 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 No 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 I do not agree. He's too. I don't know how to say it in an ass way. He's too. His face. I think. I think. It's too. I think the facey. I think they should switch it up and do Wally West instead of Barry Allen for a Justice League. Because I I think that is a version with alongside John Stewart and that. And I mean the ginger-haired one, not the black one. Who? Wally Who West. Where? Wally West, the Flash. Oh, okay. I feel like they should do him. Instead of Barry Allen. You know who I want to find? Right, because it's kind of kid flashy, but he could dye his hair. And I've said this before, and I think he could suit more of a, um, a, uh, a Robin-type character. Like a Nightwing-type character, but... Right, dye his hair, but ginger. Mm -hmm. Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Who the fuck is he? I remember his name. I, what's what's he being in? Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. I forgot. I forgotten what he fucking looks like. No, never mind. No, I, I know. I know who you're on about. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Dye his hair. Dye his hair. Dye it. I reckon he could rock it. That's more of a kid flash thing, but I rate it. I rate it. That's more of a kid flash type thing, but I rate it. That's what I'm saying. Like kid flashy, you got Finn if, Wolfhard. If they did big, big flash, big flash, daddy flash. Go on. If you know what, if they had like a backstory type thing with um, I don't know, kid fl like ginger hair, kid flash, uh, growing up, um, then I think they had Finn Wolfhard as like the young ginger haired Wally. And then as the older Wally, who would be the older Wally? Yeah. So Finn Wolfhard in Backstory is fine. Yeah, yeah I, I can... Mm. Right. I've thought I... of another... I, I... When I was on for this, right, 
do you know, like thinking about who Justice Lee. I was thinking about Craven the Hunter, who's going to be in the next Spider Man. Yeah. Right? Because he's going he's to be like the next villain. And I've thought of someone who I would want, uh, I won't mind playing him. Okay. Norman Reedus. Who's that? He's, 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 he's a bit he's a bit of it. He's an actor. He, he didn't walk in dead, but I reckon he could totally rock it. Oh, he's from Silent Hill. Oh, yeah. him. Yeah. He's also in Blade Trinity. Him yeah. was Craven. Him as Craven. No, I'm saying he could be Craven. I know. Yeah, him as Craven. Hmm. I see it. Sort of. It's not terrible. It's not yeah, terrible. See? No, right, buff him up a little bit. Buff him up a little bit. Right. I reckon he could do it. Get him bulking. Right. I reckon. I reckon. Okay. With Daryl so, Dick. With Daryl Rose. I fucking... I think I remembered the guy for Barry... Uh, I was going to say for Barry Allen. Let me... Right, carry on uh, thinkers of him to for say for uh, recasting Justice League a minute. Right. <laughs> right. She might be a bit old. She might be a bit old. I know, I would just I'm go fully with this. Angelina Jolie as Wonder Woman. No. Actually. Yeah, I can see it. Mm. This is this is, this is a, right, sorry, but sorry for saying it, right, so, this isn't a Flash, I won't cast him as the Flash, it feels a lot younger, and I mean a lot younger in looks, and yes, definitely, I'm going to cast Reverse Flash, I'm going to say Reverse Flash, right, so, the reason why I'm saying Reverse Flash is because he is in the Justice League Flashpoint Paradox movie, so I'm see saying him, Matthew McConaughey is Reverse Flash. Who? Matthew McConaughey. I'll show you a picture of him. One minute. Him is Reverse Flash. Mm. Mm. I can see that happening. I, I can see him. I can see him. I don't hate it. Woman. I reckon you will do a good job. Piece of shit you are. Carry on. Oh. Just ran to your dog, just like. Alright, I'm back. Just had my foot. I just had my jog. <laughs> Carry on then. And I don't, I don't know what I would just say. Um. So Matthew McConaughey is Reverse Flash. I don't hate it. I don't. I I don't mind it. I can't remember what he's been in. Do a good job. I, I, can't, I reckon he'll do a good job. I yeah. can't. I can't remember what he's been in. I'll have to look it up. But I think he'd rate it. I think he'd do it. Smash it out the park. But oh, <gasps> yeah. Who did you who did you put Alexandra Daddario as again? Who did you put Alexandra Daddario as again? You put him um Supergirl. You put her as Supergirl, Supergirl and you actually said the person I want to cast her as Wonder Woman. Wonder <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I don't I, care. I like Alexandra Daddario. I don't care what she's in, I just want to see her in Marsh. No, Alexandra Daddario as Catwoman would be ace. Oh. Uh, something you need to know about me. I am a bit. I have. I have I'm in love with Alexandra Daddario. I am like I. She's like she. She's bad. Cheryl to Midas. Like that's how. And you know, and I and I don't know how much Cheryl likes Midas. Right. <laughs> this this is an. He's not an actor, he's a rapper, but some of it, I've watched his mu music videos, and I think he'll do a good job. 
Joiner Lucas as Deadshot. Yes. I, th- I thought was the- I thought was doing Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> One minute. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Hundred percent. I love Johnny Lucas, right? Look him since God, God knows when. Hundred percent. Love to see yeah. Lucas as dead shot. Like, cause music videos as well. We actually, I would love to see him yeah. in the movie. I would hundred yeah. percent love to see him in the movie. Yeah. And I think he'll suit the role of Deadshot. You, yeah. you, you say you'll suit. You, I, I do think. You say you think he'll suit as Deadshot. I think he'll suit Cyborg. No, he's too. No, no, you need a young guy mm. to play Cyborg. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me explain. Let me explain. So, I don't think there is a version. Well, actually, no, 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 never mind, never mind. I think he'd look at the part, maybe, but he's a bit too old for it. I agree with that, but he look kind of looks like him, ish. Hmm. Who, who would? You, yeah. Who would? You I don't. S- I don't think John. You. I think John. You. Um. Who would you say is cyborg then? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> first person that popped into mind. And I don't know why he popped into mind, because I think he could suit more of a Miles Morales. Um, what's his face? Oh. Explain. Is he off Stranger Things? Yeah. Oh, him. Lucas. That's one. I was actually thinking that. I was, was thinking cyborg. that. was Cyborg. Think he could be... Yeah, he needs to be I reckon taller, he could rock it. He needs to be taller, though. They can have... what CGI is a beautiful thing. And mate, have you seen fucking Superman's yeah. CGI mustache? <laughs> they can trick people and make people as much as they want. You can fuck C- oh, Camera please. angle. You can fuck up with CGI so much, but okay. It's doable. If, it's doable. if you say him, okay. If you say him, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of someone else. Right, I've I've got one. Go on. Jason Staten. Has... No. Who? Why? Jason Staten. Nathan Staten or Jason. Jason. As. Yeah. Who again? And the stunts he does, he actually does as well. Like, mm. Jason Statham. As who? Like, uh, he's a cockney, though. We need to understand this. He's a cockney. He has quite a raspy voice. <laughs> I say this. What? But what if... I don't think he could. I think he's got one of them voices that he just can't do it. He'd do a Lex Luthor. Yes. I don't think that will be Jason's thing because he he likes like action and all that crap. Like he the stunts he does, he acts in real life. Like that he actually does it. No like effects, CGI, uh, wires or anything like that. He oh. actually does it. No, he don't. So you're gonna say if he, he jumps does. off a building, he's it? gonna do it? Yeah, he actually does. <laughs> so he'll jump off a building. Not not that extreme, but like, literally, like, <laughs> literally, he's got, he's got, like, the assassin ability. No, me, Raz al Ghul. Raz al Ghul. Raj, you say... I'm still saying Lex, I'm still saying Lex, I'm still saying Lex. We're kind of going off on a tangent. I, I agree with Adam, Lex is so much more. He, he, he seems to see... He suits a suit. I'm not even gonna lie to you. St- Jason Tatham. If you look at him in suits, you just go, "That man." Well, suit in many ways. So, right. 
We've spoke about this topic for literally 32 minutes, which is kind of mad. We spoke about recasting the whole Justice League for 32 fucking minutes. <laughs> May I just say that? So, Jesus, <laughs> we're gonna change. We're gonna change. We're gonna change the topic here, so we're not blabbering on about fucking casting people. Um. So we're leaving Gotham Knights for the last one. So we're gonna be talking about Stranger Things season four. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Um. Right. Um. Right. So, if anybody wants to like mute this or like just hover over a little bit, so they don't get spoils for see- for doing your things past, do it now or forever hold their peace. Or if they want like, do- just do it. Okay, do it. Just just so I can warn people. You get. You're gonna fucking do it, yeah. You're gonna. I see. I see you. You fat fuck. I see you. You fat fuck. Johnny. Jo- yeah. 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 You, Johnny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you, Derek. Yeah, sit the fuck down, mute it if you haven't watched it. Go on. <laughs> okay, things for off, oh, right? I reckon Sadie Sink or whatever she plays, this, whoever's character she plays, the. Oh, I can't remember her name. I know. However, I, can't her, I reckon that she's going to play a prominent role in it. N- not going to lie. Okay. Not okay. going to lie. You know how um, Thingy got trapped at the end, um, at the, and uh, he went somewhere at the end of season three and you see him in the season four trailer. I've forgotten his fucking name stupidly. Yeah. Yeah. The guy that's going to play fucking Red Guardian. Him. Hopper. Um, yeah, Hopper, that's it. Um... Well, I feel like he's going to be a key role. Even though we, he've, I feel like he's going to have some scenes. He's not going to be interacting with the other characters as such. But I feel like he's going to be a big role. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be a lot of key. Per- the question of will Eleven get her powers back? More than likely, will will um will will come out as gay? Probably. I've been I've been shipping um, Will and Mike for a long time. What Mike seems to be very straight. Will I would like to see him gay. Will there's a lot of things I have questions and not many answers to, and I want answers. So you'd say, right. and no one can give me these answers, and I want some. Sweetums, go get me the answer. What? <laughs> you asked me. I said, what? go get me the answers. Go leave. And get me the you speak about it in a second, then I'll give you the answers. All right, one minute. Keep t- keep talking about Stranger thank Things you, season thank four. You, sweet keep thank talking you. about Stranger Things season four. One minute. I will keep talking. Go get me the answers. Okay, sure. Right. I enjoy see Stranger Things. Right, not as much as my sister. My sister can like. However, I feel like um that there's a lot of key key parts. Because I could literally go open on this episode, on this de- second, on this, and she will tell me, right? So if anybody needs to be in this conversation, it's her. But I think your sister has got the answers, then. She doesn't though, because I've asked her. Like, do you think Will's gay? No. Do you think this has happened? No. Do you think da da da? No. Fucking tell me the answers, then you bitch. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> what happened? What? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Don't cry. He's backwards when it says answers. What does that say? He's backwards when it says answers. <laughs> did you get him? What did it say? What? Hopper's gonna die. No, he's not. No, he's not. No. Nah. No, nah. that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. No. That's a joke. No. That's a joke. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> They can't kill him off twice in two seasons. That's just They didn't far. kill him. Never once have I believed that I didn't but I, I you could ask my sister this. Never once did I watch Stranger Things three and go he is I just went and I went, No. I didn't believe it. I was like, No. 
He's gonna come back. He's gone somewhere else. He ain't dead. You know, you know how is I feel like because you know, right? Hear me out. So you know how in TV shows, in movies, Russians are kind of known to do like, experiments and crap on humans and kind of give yeah. these abilities and shit. And you know how Eleven's lost her powers and crap like that. I feel like Eleven yeah. will, will be the one to go and save them, and this guy or some crap will offer her a deal or ho offer some sort of thing to get her powers back. And I'm not even going to lie that about that. Right. Here's my... Go on. Go on. Carry on. Carry no, on. no, 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 no. I'm finished. <clears throat> okay. feel if they're going to... I don't think they're going to kill off anyone. The only person I could possibly see them killing off is... um. What's his face, brother? Will's brother. Uh, okay. Chow he Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan. That's the only person I can I can see him kill, being killed off. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can see actually, it. Actually, I can see it. Actually, Especially with all this drug incident. Yeah, I was about to say that. I was about to say that. I see it. But then again, he... Yeah. I see it. I see it. And I think because of his doing him doing New Mutants and crap, I feel like he's going to be a bit more occupied and maybe he might get killed off. I have no idea. Mm. Yeah, I think... Well... I think someone is going to die this season, and I'm favouring Charlie Heaton while well, Jonathan. We've never had a big death in it. The only big death we've had in it is, um... Which is... Yeah. Bloke. Um, the Australian guy. He's Australian in real life. I can't remember his name. The, but, but the that's ginger girl guy. The, 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 He's the only... The, you mean the brother of the ginger girl? He, he fucking played Red Ranger. He played. He's the only he played a fucking Power Ranger. I was gassed really? at that. But like, I feel feel like we just had. We just we just need one person. We just need that one big death to go. Oh my god, this is real. And at first, I thought it was Hopper for it. Got me for a second. I was like, is he dead? But then I thought, nah, they can't kill him off like that. He's too. Pro he's too important. So I feel if they were going to kill off anyone, it has to be Charlie Heaton. It can't be anyone else. Mm -hmm. It is very possible for him for him to get killed off because, like you said, with everything like the drug shit going around him, uh, he's also doing... I've, I know New Mutants, New Mutants is actually out on the 4th, so I'm going to be fucking watching that for definite. Um, I feel like... I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for New Mutants. Is, oh, is my it going to come out on Netflix? No, it's a movie cinema thing. I'm pretty sure. Is it? I... Oh, okay. The thing is... The thing is, yeah. it's going to be so sick because it's a horror type thing. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. Hmm. For it. I love my horror films. And I think that... Um, um, could be like the best. I haven't seen Dark Phoenix yet, but I think this film could be the best X Men film that's not Logan. I mean, it isn't n not related to X Men. It is, but it's not in that universe. So I, I, I do know what you mean, though. Yeah, but like it's X. Mm. Yeah, but it isn't X Men in it. It's yeah, it's still an X Men film. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Don't worry. Like the the best X Men film straight to date is um is Deadpool Deadpool two and Logan. Uh, I think I think New Mutants is the only one yet that can like top that way. It's gonna be like, on that list that level of decent film. Me, I'm, film. I'm gassed because Deadpool three is meant to be in an MCU, so I'm gassed about that. I'm hella gassed about that. Hmm. And I I feel yeah. like. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just think that. Go on, go on, sweet No, 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 no. No, it's fine. No, no, you go. I forgot, it's fine. I forgot. I want, I want you to carry on. We're going to change that counter to four in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to carry on. I forgot that. We're going to change that counter to four in a minute. <laughs> we definitely will in a minute. <laughs> Josh, you, you you say something before we start an argument. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think that 
<laughs> I'm gonna fucking tweet him. You carry on fucking. You carry on saying what you were saying. All right, so I'm going around your house and I'm fucking smacking your ass. I'd like that. You know he's got a bat. Fine. He's got a bat. Remember. Exactly. I know you. I know you like that. Where the fuck is my bat? Lucy. My bat. My bat's gone. Fuck it. I've lost my bat. Fuck it. We need to concentrate on the podcast. Right. I'm fu- Never mind. I'm just like. What? You know. You know. You you've seen it in past podcasts. I will come round and I will shove that bat far up your ass if you don't carry in your conversation. I love that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it's got spikes on. Yeah, yeah exactly. On exactly. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Any you. Yeah. Everything's a dildo if you're brave enough. Go on. Anyway, Charlie Houston, him getting any, killed any, off. Any, any, Houston. Yeah. You need to fucking stop talking when I'm talking. Mate, it's the fucking delay. You need to stop it's talking the, de- when I'm it's talking the to delay, you. I'm telling you. It's the delay, I'm, I'm telling you. It's, I'm like not, a, I'm it's like a shitty YouTube stream. Does it with Josh as well. But it's fine. <laughs> You you know where we get the shitty YouTube streams, don't you? Geeky standoff too, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure, make sure you like go them. down there, subscribe, and turn on them post notifications. But I want to make sure you subscribe to my main channel, Geek Standoff. Me and Josh recently made a new song, so make sure you check it out. Uh, gone but never forgotten. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> we need to get back on topic here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. right? We've like it's gone too. Let's talk about uh, X. Let's talk about um, what do you call it? Stranger Things to X Men <laughs> to me shoving and that. Uh, like it's took a dramatic turn. I mean, we we did, we know the main topics. If we say the main topics, it doesn't really fucking matter. We can not. We don't have to just talk about this shit, you know. Mm-hmm. If you want to, you can talk about shoving a fucking oh, yeah, stick on my ass or something. I don't give a fuck. You do you. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will, sweet. I, I will. We're off to go with the Batman, and I said to you, I will fuck you, flop, roading, say You already know. You already know. You already know. You already know. I see. Steps on my join as well. No. Steps on my join as well. Yeah. If that's alright. No, we don't. We don't. We don't do that. We don't do that in that li- in this life. That's my bossy. Steps on the That's my bossy. Business. you. <laughs> anyway, right. So, are we gonna go on to talking about Gotham Knights? Let's yes. do it. Let's, let's get it over and done with. <sighs> Right, I really want to hear what you think, Adam, so you start. Nah, I want you to go, Josh. <laughs> uh, you go first, Josh. You go first. I want to see. I want, I want to know. if if And if none of you go, I'll go. I'm re- Fine, fuck it. Right, so, Gotham Knights look fucking sick. Don't care what I hear you about. Right, it looks sick. And I think it's got a cool, cool different twist on it that we've ever seen in the Batman film. Game. But to be fair, I've literally known about it for like the past, like ten minutes ago. So, what, what, why are we shaking my head now? <laughs> Fifth count. Fourth. Sorry. Right. I'm not going to lie. Playing the Avengers beta has made me put downers on games on comic games that have, like, um, you know, fucking multiple superheroes and shit at once and fucking having the number damage at the top in the fucking thing. I It may be good, but I would love it to be, like, an Arkham-specific... I know they're not making another Arkham game, but, you know, I know... feel like... You know what people think? They feel like Batman's going to be the main villain. Bruce will be the main villain, apparently. People, that's what people are rumouring right now. Bruce is going to be the main villain. Within the thing in my bob, I, I don't think Batman's dead. I don't think Bruce is dead. I don't think he is. I think he. I think he is. I think he's a part of the Court mm. of Owls in some way. Honestly, to be honest with you, 
it's such a like a spoiler spoilery plot line that I don't think they would add it in a trailer. It's like when they say that, oh, this guy's dead. It's like, is he dead though? Is he dead? Because he might not be dead. That like every superhero film, like someone dies, but you don't see him die. Hmm. And there's one weird thing. The making Gotham Knights, the the making Red Hood in Gotham Knights seem more like a hero than an anti. If you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this is the thing. Mm. Batman's code is to not kill. Red Hood kills. So why would Batman summon Red Hood when Red Hood kills? That's what. That's why. I'm because Batman just doesn't give a shit. No, but he just doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care, does he? When oh, you got at that one face. Po- when at one point did Batman care about killing? Think. Never. No, he Man did. Cared he did about once. Killing he did care. In like 60. He killed one person. He did kill one person, and he started killing other people. He went mental. Yeah, but now, I, now, no, but this is like the new Batman. Like the new Batman just doesn't give a let shit. Me say, let me say something. Let me say something. He killed the Joker, and then he went <laughs> mental. He, well, he didn't go mental, but he started like the idea of killing and obviously he would have changed his ways and because of him maybe changing his ways he ended up getting killed and then maybe fucking Carter Vowles or some shit brought him back or something like that it's possible it's very possible oh oh I think uh, this is go on go on because because it's it's not just Ra's al Ghul that has access to the Lazarus Pit. The Court of Owls has access to literally everything in Gotham. They run Gotham. They run the uh, the drug deals. They run the fucking crime database. They run the fucking everything in Gotham. They run it. You name it, they run it. So the chances are that they have access to the Lazarus Pit is a very, very likely. Mm. Per- but yeah, personally, I think that the bad guy in it looks fucking sick. I don't know what his name is, but he looks cool. So, whoever he is, I- I'm going to probably... I- I'm not one to buy games, but I might buy that one and then see what's popping. Well, Gotham Knights. It looks cool. Mm. Yeah. I, I, honestly, the only game that I'm not wanting to buy is the Avengers game at the minute because the beta killed the hype it for it me. The beta killed the hype for it for me, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, that beta was trash. The story mode was good, but the side missions... Oh my fucking lord, the better make it better. The better make it better. They look boring. Yeah. You see, I've never, re- I've, I've said it from the beginning that it looks shit. I just so. I'm, now I'm just I'm, like I'm just. Yeah. I'm a person that has to experience it for myself to call it shit first. But if I watch it multiple times and I get bored of it, then I'll get it. Say it shit. But mm. I just, I just hope they don't do the same thing. With fucking the Avengers beta, with Gotham Knights, I hope they don't fucking do it. I honestly don't. They don't release a beta. Mm. No, I do don't. Not I feel like it was beta. wrong. I feel. I feel like it was wrong for them to have that seven minutes of gameplay. Like I haven't watched that yet, and I don't think I am going to because I don't want. If you do, like. Have the game out before, like, I'd have like a gameplay or something out beforehand. You just spoil it for yourself, and I just don't think it's like trailers. So, like, people, there's too many trailers out nowadays that I just don't watch them. I watch like one, see if the film looks good, and then I'm done. I watch all of them, to be honest. All the trailers. 
They don't, they don't even add that much new stuff in the newest ones when they add out. Mm, but I'm saying, like, and I just feel like they're so, like, trailers nowadays are just so spoilery. Like, you can watch a trailer and then it'll be like, oh, Oh, there's a trip. Oh, there's oh, by the way, this person's that, and then that person's dying, and then it's like, why show us that? Why can we not? We've been we've watched the entire film in yeah. like 20 what, what, in order. Even in the Gotham Knights trailer, for example, they said that Jim got that Commissioner Gordon's dead. Yeah. Did I? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's. I, I think it's dumb trailer nowadays i think that they've just lost off up until like just them just going here's, here's, here's a four like four minute trailer it's like a two second trailer all right go watch the film and that's kind of pas partially oh, yeah, like, partially the reason why i don't make reaction videos on my main channel make sure you subscribe turn post notifications on for more the reason why i don't react to uh, trailers that much anymore is because yeah they get boring to make to, to really record them and shit um, I think now I won't really only do a react. I would only do a reaction video if I've got nothing to fucking record and crap. But I think react. Uh, I think trailers they are heavily spoiled as such, but they don't really add new, new, new shit every time. The most of it is normally the same. It's just yeah, teases almost. Yeah, like that's what I like. I watch a teaser happily, but I just won't watch a full on trailer because oh. it's just it's shit to me. Kyle, you know what I started watching that my friend got me into watching. I think you would like uh, you either know it or like it, or oh, you'll like it. And that's Lucifer. What is it? Lucifer. You know what? So good. It's so good. I've only just started watching it. I've only I just started. I want to watch it actually. So have I. God, I think one, I and I've got a bit bored of it, but like, it's on Amazon, and I don't watch it on Netflix, and I feel like it's all on Netflix, I'll watch it. Kyle, mute your mic a minute. Mute your mic a minute. I'll put a, I'll put a thumbs oh, up when I'm I... Put, it's, a, it's a spoiler. I'll put a thumbs up when you're done. When I'm done, okay? I'll take your mic out or whatever. Is it done? I can't tell. I'm gonna just assume it's done. I'm gonna just assume, right. Just Josh. turn your volume down. Turn your volume down. It's, it's probably done anyway. Josh, right? You know, Crisis on Infinite Earths, right? Constantine is in it, and yeah, you can't hear. And Constantine yeah. actually meets Lucifer in the crossover. I was gassed. I was fucking gassed. <laughs> <laughs> I think you told me that before at college. Morning. Right, I said it. I told him. I told Josh. What? 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 What have you? What have it's you a, told? It's a what, spoiler. It's a, spo it's a spoiler. So I can I can uh, It's a spoiler. Okay. I, I won't ask. <laughs> Unless you want me to tell you. <laughs> No, no. Anyway, yeah, I so know. Gotham Knights, back onto that topic. So, Court of Owls, um, I wanted to read, there's a book in it on it, and I really wanted to read it, to be honest. And to, yeah, I think the what, Court what, of What book is it? It's just called Batman, the Court of Owls. It's, it's a book. It's not, they have a comic on it, but it's a book. I want to read it badly. I've got The Killing Joke in a book as well. I've got The Killing Joke as a book. <laughs> anyway, right. Is that going to be it for now then, or what? Ah, uh, we don't have anything now. Yeah, I ain't got anything else to say, no. Right then. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to post notification on for more. Make sure you subscribe to my second channel. 
geeky standoff month of fucking two and make sure you listen to mine and Josh's latest song, Gone But Never Fucking Forgotten. And I'm not sure, um, I did look on your tra- uh, Twitch channel with Cheryl, Kyle, but I'm just going to say just follow The Fiend and the Viper anyway. Watch that yeah. shit. You do you. And yeah, I'm going to shout out someone. I'm going to shout out someone. Right. There's been a, f- a particular a particular fan on my videos lately. You know who you are. Commenting on my videos saying good night nice shit. Shout out to Travis, mate. Shout out to Travis. He's a le- he's a fucking legend. He's a fucking legend. He's a fucking legend. And Josh, we actually found out he was thirteen. Me and Kyle found out he was thir- he was thirteen. Oh gee. Yeah. Anyway. I found out, yeah. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to him, press notifications for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to submit it.